Yeah, this thing is great for a tripod. Yeah. <laughs> Not a selfie stick. Uh -uh. But you know what? Actually, I exposed this for a second. I mean, isn't that what that padding's for? That's the grip for selfie situation. Yeah, you like drop like ten bucks. So we will be going home with some bites today. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, this is nice, man. Oh yeah. Doesn't really matter where you set it, what kind of incline or position. It just kind of does its thing. Yeah, this is cool. All right, y'all. Let's see if uh, if I fall right now. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Trail Talk and Evolve. This is Jason, this is Xavier, oh. and I'm Matt. We're out here to show you that you don't need to go to the gym to get in shape. You can do things like disc golf, or go for a hike, or just walk around the neighborhood. Walk up and down your stairs a couple times. Absolutely. And uh, I too won't not be doing push-ups. <laughs> not weighted ones anyway. That fucking hurt. What we're gonna do today, we're gonna start with injury and what you should do when you have an injury. Rest, recover. Today, or let me put it like this. A couple days ago, I was just doing the normal chest press and my very first lift off, I did something to my whole back shoulder, upper back shoulder area. So I've spent the last few days trying to get this knot out. But after the inflammation started to go down, I could feel all the tears in my muscle. So I did my first 10 push-ups today. Usually we do 10 push-ups at each hole to kind of combat some of the stopping. But uh, I think it's important to listen to your body during injury and not push yourself too hard because you don't want to A, make things worse, but B, you want to get back to your fitness journey, especially if you're just starting out and you injure yourself out early. It's going to be important that you stay consistent. And that means supplementing things that, okay, try not to use my shoulder today, but we're still out getting active. As you can see, we are completely covered by mosquitoes right now. And the chances of us being bit up by the end of this is going to be extremely high. We're going to get some West Nile up in this bitch. <laughs> um, yeah, we usually have bug spray and we ran out and forgot to get more so we're yeah but normally it isn't this bad though yeah that's this weird season in michigan where things are starting to get colder so everything's getting out and trying to run away from the cold before it freezes over although tomorrow we'll probably be in the 70s or 80s or probably even later today but today is one of our colder mornings you probably notice we have sweat most of us have sweatpants on I mean, it was like it was like 40 one day when I went to school. Yeah. So it's definitely, uh, it's getting that time in Michigan where it's going to start getting colder progressively from here on out. Oh, when we get to the swamp, we're going to be so many mosquitoes. Oh, yeah. Good thing we're skipping that. <laughs> oh, we <laughs> did skip it already, I think. No, maybe we didn't. Just, we just go that way and then the swamp is over there. All right, cool, let's throw this. <laughs> just, know, this is ridiculous. I'm freaking out. <laughs> Ignore them, man. Why are you taking that one? So before we start throwing, I want to put a wrap around last week's episode. I didn't get my point across as much as I'd like. Um, we were talking about, well, I was talking about battling with my mother and her nutrition and her, her health. And some of the conversations I have in my everyday life with the people around me, usually the people I work with who are also family, um, trying to get them to eat better or just be healthier and um, getting a lot of pushback, especially from my mother. Um, some people are just set in their ways and they, they do what they do and that's fine. But we're trying to talk to people who are out trying to evolve with us, um, to eat better, be in better shape, live longer, whatever it is. We're talking to you. You mosquitoes. <laughs> For the people that want to get better, not the people that are resistant. If you if you think all that we're saying is a bunch of nonsense, then just stop listening. Yeah. You know. Or recommend uh, recommend to somebody that would be interested in this. You know, it may not be your thing, but someone that's looking to get better and grow and evolve. Those are the people we're looking for. And I apologize, gentlemen, if you smelled that fart. 
I didn't think it was gonna be stinky, and, and just like I got, I su- it, it got surrounded by me. So. Yeah. Maybe it's keeping mosquitoes away. <laughs> and also, um, we're not professionals. No, so. we aren't. But we're doing our best to learn and educate, and as we learn and learn new things about nutrition and health and all these things, we will teach you because basically. Uh, I just started a series on my channel right now. It's called Red Naps Matt Kirshner um, And it's basically me going from 177 pounds up to 200 and doing it uh, Primarily clean and healthy way, right? High amounts of protein clean foods uh, Not overly processed garbage. I had someone on YouTube say all you need is mass gainer, bro That's all you need. Well, sometimes when your metabolism is a thousand miles an hour that isn't all you need and i'm going to prove doing it the right way with food and nutrition oh we got some coming in thank you dog walking but uh yeah 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 i'm sorry i kind of no cut you off. not really i was kind of done okay well yeah i mean we can really like touch on that more too because i think the big thing is is like i don't know a lot of people think that and I think it's more understood now. But for a long time, people thought you just have to go to the gym to get in shape. But I think we can all argue here, it's more about the food you're putting into your body is what's helping you develop. And it's proven nowadays. It's like 70 or 80% of getting in shape is the food that you put in your body. Yep. Oh, also, you guys are going to see some stuff from us when this podcast comes out. Um, and before... Uh, about meal prepping as well. We're gonna get into that on Monday. Um, how many containers did we get? 50. 50 containers, so we're gonna do do up 25 meals, um, or 50 meals, but, huh? Wish I had pants. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I was even thinking like, it would be nice to have one of those like, um, not like a long sleeve shirt, but like like that material, yeah, yeah. long sleeve, yeah, yeah. It'd be nice well, to have one. Well, they like right through the material, so. Yeah, well, maybe that's well, one. <laughs> one on your arm. There are. <laughs> There's one everywhere. All right. <laughs> I can't wait to go to school with all these mosquito bites. Oh, man. yeah. You're going to be sitting there like this. At this point, my body's just used to it now. Yeah. It's not bad until they start flying in your ear, and then it's like, all right, get out of there. No, that's my blood, motherfucker. <laughs> They've been there for a minute. All right, you ready? Let's do it. Thank Kick us way. off. Thanks, man. Get the plug off me. Okay. I see the thing. What's hole in one it? You got it. That was beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they all went inside that backpack and now they're laying eggs oh, in my yeah, back. Probably. If that's what they do, I don't know. I'm fucking mosquitoes. Did it skip? Yeah. That was a good skip. I gotta, I gotta see what's gonna hurt the least. It's your left sh- shoulder, right? Yeah. When I forearm throw, this doesn't jerk as much, so I'm gonna probably go with that. <laughs> you don't have to be the best disc golfer to go disc golf. You don't have to be the, a fucking tennis pro to go play tennis. You don't have to be a professional swimmer to go swimming. But all things help get you in shape. Just moving. Nope. Did you know? I think it's mosquitoes. Their favorite blood type is donated. Really? Is that one of the most common ones? Oh, right. Yeah. I think so. Um, yeah. uh, all our TTE people, we're celebrating a new tripod today. <laughs> I'm seeing, I'm seeing like 50 right in front of me, bro. Nice. Oh, oh it's rolling back, roll back, too. Damn. <laughs> Not bad, though. A little hop and skip. So, back to the little injury thing. It's important. If you are going to go out and exercise, make sure you're a little warmed up, make sure you're stretched out because a tear or anything like that will take away from your workouts and you're going to have to rest and recover from that injury, which is what I'm kind of going through with my shoulder. I can't work out as hard as I should with my left shoulder. And it's been like this for how long now? (laughs) A year. Almost a year. Maybe less. Six months to a year, definitely somewhere within there. Yeah. Fuck that here. Fucking fine.
following us. Like these guys giving us a lot of blood. It's following. Yeah, healthy blood. Joe Biden's. So I'm gonna Medicine. do. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna do some push-ups without the weighted backpack. And we did have a decent amount of rain this year. Swampy areas back here are more swampy than usual, and we got a little lake right behind us. That shit was super dry. Shit was dry there. Why are there so many though? Can you say it was cold? Was freaking out. Trying to get as much food as possible. Probably before they die. That's what's gonna happen. All right, Blocky, one arm push-ups. That way I can avoid using this shoulder. <laughs> yeah, do five. Sit up. Was the same want me to hold your feet down? So, fight injuries. We still show up. And he's still pushing to do more, even though he can't do the stuff that we usually do. Still do something. Showing up and doing something. It's like we're just gonna spend this this whole podcast fighting off fucking skeeters. Yeah. Until the winter comes, I'm gonna be fighting off the snow. <laughs> but the important thing is we're showing up for you guys every single week because we want to see you reach your goals, reach new heights, reach places that you didn't think before that you could get to. But we're here to show you that you can. Take drive. <laughs> can. Kick us off. Uh. You, you didn't go to that game, did you? What? The Lions game? It was in uh, it was in Kansas KC. City. Yeah, yeah. So, I didn't get to watch the game. Totally missed the beginning. But apparently there's a black <laughs> national anthem out now. Now, do we, do we know, did this come out uh, like a long time ago? It's like, a, hey, like, you know, things are getting better. Let's, I don't know anything about it. Anthem, I found out about it this morning. And uh, <laughs> that was pretty funny. No, I think it's definitely pretty weird that, I mean, just your point earlier is just they're, they're finding new ways to keep us separated. Yes. And by having a black national anthem versus just the national anthem for America, because we're all Americans living in America, uh, they need to have separate ones so that we can get further and further apart versus coming together and realizing that we're much stronger together. Absolutely. Now, there was an interview with, um, I'm really bad with names. Uh, he's an actor, older actor. I think we talked about him. He didn't start acting until he was like 40. Oh, Samuel? No. Well, he's black though. He does voiceovers for a bunch of shit. He's in a bunch of different movies. Okay, yeah. We'll pop them up on the screen when we we'll go to editing. figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know him. He's, he's in everything. He's, yeah. He does voiceovers. Why can't I fucking think of his name? Anyway, he was being interviewed by um, somebody. And they asked him what he thinks about Black History Month. Or whether he wants it or not. And he was like, no. Why would I want a Black History Month? And he asked the guy, did uh, the interviewer, like, do you want a white history month? And the interviewer's like, well, I'm Jewish and whatever. And he's like, well, do you want a Jewish history month? No. Black history is part of American history, yeah. is what he said. And we shouldn't separate the two because they're the same. Morgan well, I, Freeman. I saw the video as soon as you were saying that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Morgan Freeman. I remember that one. And he's right. We have, now we have two national anthems. <laughs> And what's that do to a nation where one national anthem brings everyone together? Mm -hmm. Now we have two? To keep us divided. To separate us. Why separate us? We're easier to control that way. Yep. And we have people coming, so we're going to go ahead and throw discs. And we'll continue the conversation. We all just thought the same. Good. Good, because there's swampy. Down oh, yeah. I forgot that's a veggie. <laughs> Swamp. Oh, go back. Nice. Work. We came back. That's right there. Oh yeah, there's water right there. The more we walk through it, the more we're stirring it up too. Right. So I stir up the pot. Okay, I stir up. Get off that tree. Uh, Damn it. <laughs> that was clean. My dish right here. Yeah. Lego my ego. 
Oh, that's a long one, huh? At this point, I'm just fucking. Yeah, I, just, I want to get out of here. Fucking how long has it has been going for? Been recording. I don't know. I can't see it. Let's make this a 40 minute episode. Let's make this fucking quick as shit. <laughs> this is fucking ridiculous. Not my disc, dear. No, you have the same amount of blood everywhere, but your face, your fucking what are they called? No, uh, blood vessels are closer to the skin on, on your uh, face. So really the face is better. Unless you have a beard protecting half of it. Yeah, and then, but then they nest inside the beard. No, they don't. Yes, they do. Fuck no, they don't. Yes, they do. I mean, one you think I'm not going to take care of my beard? Right. You think I'm just going to leave my beard the way it is? Something's going to nest in there. I'm like, oh shit, I guess I have a nest in my beard. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. Also, it's like gross. you got a spider in your beard. Hey, I'm just gonna leave it. Yeah. Fine. <laughs> no, th th then it'll be a companion. You can unleash it like you do. You're talking shit. Go get him. Mosquitoes. <laughs> Swarm mosquitoes just comes out. I don't like going down the trip. Actually, we should skip the next two holes. Yeah? The next hole has a lot of water on it. Well, not the next hole, but the one after that. Okay, not this upcoming one. Right? Yeah. The whole after this one is really nice, so send it on that one. Yeah. Pizza anyone? Uh-huh. The hole after this one. Fucked up. <laughs> you want us to walk you there right now? Let me throw this one. Well here at 1030 right now. So let's uh let me see what the schedule who's on this morning. Now how do you tell the difference between an excuse and an injury? You know? Because I feel like people just starting the gym might wake up a morning after and go, oh, my body's like really sore, maybe I'm injured. So how do you tell the difference between soreness and actual injury? At least with my injury right now, it's constant shooting pains, sharp shooting pains. Anytime I move, when you're sore, it's kind of just always a a soreness there. That's and just uh, basic, the uh, just basic muscle fatigue. On the soreness, it's more of a uh, <sighs> more of a like a dull kind of soreness over the entirety of the muscle, compared to if it was an injury, like you said, it's more sharp. It's more pinpointed to a certain area like with my shoulder it's inside it's something to do with rotator cuff I'm assuming I'm not gonna go to the doctor because I don't do that but uh certain movements hurt and certain movements don't like the push up I just did didn't hurt at all but with the weighted it's putting more weight on my shoulder that hurt doing um, the inclined dumbbell presses yeah that angle kills my shoulder so I have to do lighter weights when I do that but any other angle seems to be fine uh, doing decline anyway yeah seems to be fine so because my injury is specific towards like whatever movement I'm doing calls it an injury otherwise so uh, muscle soreness is just overall the entirety of the muscle being sore and especially at the beginning and when you first start working out you're gonna be sore for a few weeks. Your body is going, hey, what the hell are you doing to me? What is going on? And so you're gonna feel that. And don't let that be the reason why you stop going because you're sore. Now, if, if it's if it's like almost impossible to move something, your shortness of breath, when they, they, yeah, maybe, you know. Maybe something it. got torn or. Yeah, and you gotta give it some time to heal and recover. And uh, I don't know, I feel like with this vest on, it's not, hurting my shoulder, right? My shoulder, it's a constant pain right now. So I just try to avoid, like I'm not throwing with this. I'm not gonna do the push-ups, So I'm avoiding using it for the most part. But uh, as soon as it heals, it's right back to the grindstone. But also it made me realize too, be cautious of when you're putting weights up in certain positions. Slow down, focus, get yourself set up. 
you know, get your movements down instead of just trying to yeah. throw them up and, and, and then get to it. Start yeah. light, get the, yeah. get the movement correct before you add the weight. We're, we're going into bulking season right now. And that means a lot more progressive overloads. So instead of just like doing a lot of reps with lower weights, we're gonna be doing less reps. So instead of like, you know, one, two, three, four, five, we do like five or eight versus 10 or 12. And, uh, you know, we're just gonna be consuming a lot more food within that too. So I, I kind of got distracted because it sounded like they're coming up on us. So let's, let's throw some discs. Yeah, they are. Look. I go, dibs. Never mind, he's going for it. Uh, looks like you're gonna snap your back now. That was good, good though. I fucking wrapped around. As long as it don't go deep. It's deep down in there. Nice. You guys have powers. You guys got power me. You guys got psychic power. You guys know what I'm telling you. What are you talking about? We got a decade plus of playing right here. Yeah, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm using it as a bug deterrent in case you smell it. Oh, you fart? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tearing it up up here. I'm gonna make them want to go to even more. Flies, maybe. Mosquitoes like blood, flies like shit. Yeah. Mm. And deer like shit in my chest. <laughs> we'll let's step into the uh, waiting ambush of skeeters. Where's my disc exactly? It's though? out there, though. <laughs> I don't know. It's not out there. There's somewhere out there. I don't want them. Walk back there and get it. It's right here. My face. There you go. Lasers. Yeah. Lasers. I'm doing it like this, and I like that. Lasers. Sounds like an excuse. It is. Sure, where is it? The day we go to play when we're not wearing the vests, dude, we're going to be so fucking superhumans. We're going to be superhumans. Totally. We should add weights to our fucking wrist. Make it part of the throw. Mmm. It was smooth like butter. Set it right next to it. Mm -hmm. cover. A little three-piece chicken nugget. From where? Huh? From where? From my hands to that net. That's One, good. two, three in the hole. Three-piece chicken nugget. You okay. Can't you, 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 might, you might not make it. Right, about that? Yeah. Well, Whether it's the first disc or this disc, I will. Oh, that look good. Yeah, a little bit further. Huh? It says, look good. You need to throw a little bit further. Ruin your food. God, the path is good. God, I'm not God. Oh, weak. All right, y'all. Wrapping up another episode of Trail Talk and no, Evolve. Let's do one more hole. No, that's the bridge hole. There's water. There's Skeeters. We only got 30 minutes. We're gonna get to use some drive time, okay? Around all those cars, so that it's a little bit more challenging than an empty parking lot. We're leveling up. This is the gamification of learning how to drive. So it's a blessing that we have all these cars today. Okay, let's go. I wanna be in there. More of the story. Trust your body, know when to recover. Get up and move and don't forget you're off. Yeah, and uh, practice the Black National Anthem. And that's where we'll end it. Ah! And go 